when you begin your new adventure as a solopreneur, you may notice that there's a ton of different tools out there that promise to be the very best. It's important and helpful for you to sift through all of the noise and find which ones are actually going to help you to become successful no matter what industry you're in. In episode 63 of the Uncompromising Entrepreneur podcast, Devon and I are going to provide you our opinions on some of the best tools for solopreneurs to use. Look, uh, what does it take for you to be great? Keep it a hundred, bro, you know the answer. Pursuing your purpose, creating profits, building legacy. Anything less, how could you even fathom? Just sit back and imagine all that can truly happen when you pursue your passions. Yeah. So eliminate distractions and get back to that action. That's the law of attraction. You gotta build a team to build a dream. Family, faith, and focus counsel can only build a king. Are you prepared to reign? Cause whether you weather the weather, the weather won't change. Uh, whether you weather the weather, your weather won't change. Uh, say true to the vision. Say true to the mission. Gotta get to the finish. Take a moment to listen. And come and see it through our eyes. We'll show you what it means to live uncompromised. We're uncompromised. 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 We're uncompromised. Welcome back to the Uncompromising Entrepreneur Podcast presented to you by the Uncompromising Coaches Group. Uh, do you have an entrepreneurial spirit? Are you looking to regain your entrepreneurial birthright? Maybe you're constantly thinking about how to create value and build new businesses. Are you trying to find innovative ways of doing business to replace old, outdated ones? If so, then we are here to talk to you. This is a show where we teach you what it takes to pursue your purpose, create profits, and build a legacy. Mm. I am Jimmy Gonzalez Jr., and I am joined by my co-host, Devon Watts Jr., What's going on, uh, uncompromising entrepreneur family? Man, every time I hear the the tagline, it's just I, I got to co-sign it with little, my little church grunts because it's powerful. Like, mm, yeah, say it, say it again. Great profit, for two purpose, great profits, build legacy mm. all day long. Uh, so, if you are new to our uncompromising family, or if you are a loyal listener, please feel free to rate and review this podcast. We would greatly, greatly appreciate that. If you are watching this on our YouTube channel, we'd love for you to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and then share this with another entrepreneur who you know will definitely get benefits from the nuggets that we are dropping. Uh, again, we are bringing you the hotness, which is... Uh, our podcast, the Uncompromising Entrepreneur Podcast uh, to our family out there. So we are getting to the point where we are on our descent and uh, landing the plane, so to speak, when it comes to this series, which is by the time this is all over, uh, said and done with uh, really a two month series on solopreneurship and solopreneur success. Uh, we have given a number of secrets, tips and tactics uh, and as you heard in the intro today, uh, we definitely want to provide you with some tools, some valuable tools that we feel uh, are some of the best, maybe not the, the best, but some of the best tools that you as a solopreneur or even as an entrepreneur can definitely benefit from, use to help you run your business and to do so effectively and, and smoothly as well. Uh, so we are excited to, again, continue this series uh, and jump into some tools that we know are going to be beneficial to our folks out there. Yeah, what I, what I like about what we have for the audience now, too, is not only are these tools that we've leveraged so we feel very confident in the endorsement. I um, mean, if you've seen our content or you've been consuming our content, you will start to understand how these tools have played a role in our growth and what we've been offering to you. But I think more importantly, you know, when people are starting off on that 
um, that entrepreneurial journey, that solopreneur journey, you're really trying to figure out what is the lowest cost barrier to entry mm-hmm. for me to get going, right? And then how can I how can I make a lot or do a lot with a little until I can get to the point where I've monetized effectively that I can start to reinvest and you know get bigger and better tools along the way. And so the tools that we're going to be bringing to the table are very low barrier to entry to be able to use, which I think is awesome. Um, So no matter where you're at in your solopreneur walk or your cost structure, um, this is definitely going to be economical, Mm -hmm. but it also has um, the ability to add act as an accelerant on what you've been building because it's going to allow you to do some really, really interesting and dynamic things. Even if, um, you know, some of the, you know, some of the things that you're going to be executing on aren't traditionally in your wheelhouse. So you don't have to be a graphic designer to be able to take advantage of some of these things. You don't have to be, um, you know, a, um, you know, audio visual professional in order to take advantage of some of these things that we're going to be sharing with you. So uh, that's what I look uh, forward most to, to, you know, you know, for our solopreneurs, our entrepreneurs, um, as they listen and hear about these tools and then can ultimately take them back and incorporate them into their business today. We say, you know, excel and accelerate your your growth, accelerate your success as a solopreneur. But again, getting back to the growth, uh, we have a tool. Uh, we've mentioned it once or twice on previous episodes, but we have a tool that we are, are working on uh, that we'll talk a little bit more about towards the end of the podcast. So you're going to want to make sure that you stay tuned for that. Uh, but this tool that we are working on that we will talk about uh, will definitely help you to accelerate your growth as a solopreneur or as an entrepreneur uh, and give you some additional learnings, teachings uh, and uh more not just knowledge uh but uh activities and workbooks that again are going to help help accelerate your growth and help accelerate your success overall so stay tuned for that uh because we'll be breaking that down to you again towards the end of this podcast Uh, but we had three three tools that we use all the time uh like you said that definitely have made things much uh easier for us simpler for us and allowed us to be uh, that much more effective with uh, our content creation and even how we run our business and some of the the production aspects, especially when it comes to the podcast on how we do things. Uh, So we're going to jump right in. Uh, The first one, uh, which Devon mentioned, is a uh, a low cost product. There's a low barrier to entry when it comes to this. Uh, And the two that we're going to start with, uh, you can definitely get a free version. But if you're going to invest some money, uh, it is a minimal investment as well. So the first one that we're going to start off with is Canva. Um, I have said this before, but I will say it again just because uh, it's my wife and I want to talk about her and I love my wife. Uh, For probably a couple of years, she was using Canva uh, and I had another software that was very similar called Usine uh, that I had introduced and I had purchased and I was using that and it was great for me. But she was like, you need to use Canva. You need to use Canva. I'm like, nah, I'm good. Uh, And then once I got into it and started to learn all especially as it's grown and they've added more to it all of the different capabilities that one has when you're using canva uh, it has just been phenomenal so you can use canva for free uh but again if you just want to to make that minimal investment uh i think it's you know under 15 dollars a month that you can have access Mm -hmm. to uh, more you know additional tools and really be able to do uh, that much more with uh, documents ebooks uh, you know, we use this for the uh, the thumbnails that we create for the YouTube videos that we have. Uh, we've used it to uh, create forms that we use for mind mapping. Um, so many different things. But yes, Canva is the first one that we're going to start with. Um, so why don't you talk to me a little bit, Devon, about what you love so much about this particular tool? Yeah. So like you mentioned, I mean, f- you know, first off, it's a it's a Again, free if you um, don't want to do the paid version, even though we do strongly recommend you explore the paid version again, just because uh, your art, your return on investment, the bang for your buck is tremendous. Mm -hmm. Um, But it's a design platform. And what it really allows you to do is it allows you to be able to tap in and create um, some really compelling, attractive um, content, creative content. 
even though you may not have prior design experience, you know, when I often talk to a lot of folks, the first thing that they, they, they ask me about is, okay, well, do I need, like, I got to get Photoshop and I got to get Illustrator. No, you don't. You, you really don't. Um, because the, that may have been the case years ago, but nowadays there've been so many tools that have been created to make it easier for folks to kind of, you know, pick it up and, and play and use it. Um, and Canva is exactly one of those tools. So uh, the things that I really like about Canva is not just the fact that <clears throat> the ease of use, but the fact that it also offers up a suite of pre-made templates that you can leverage um, mm -hmm. to get going immediately. So if you're trying to create social media posts, well, they have that. They have um, Instagram posts, and it's already pre-formatted to have the right size for when you're going to be uh, posting the content. And even within that, like if I do Instagram posts, well, now it also offers up, if I wanted to, different templates that are available in terms of color schemes, graphics, and things like that that I can use as a starter and literally just go in and edit my, my, my text, my content, change my font if I wanted to change my font. And I've essentially, you know, generated a social media post in no time. Um, you know, we talked about the fact that like for us, you know, even as a part of our, our coaching business, um, you know, we've been fortunate enough to, you know, get hands on experience with a lot of different skill sets. But we, you know, we do have a very narrow focus in terms of the services that we offer. But for one of our coaching clients specifically, he was struggling in the area of, you know, creating a brand, uh, a brand kit and coming up with a logo and stuff like that, um, which is essential when you're talking about, you know, your reputation, your brand in the marketplace and um, actually leveraging Canva and a couple of other uh, tools that we have at our disposal. We created a logo for him and a brand kit for him. Um, and he has now used this um, as a part of his business. When he filed his LLC, when he filed his DBA, when he filed all that stuff, the logo and all that stuff that he submitted came from what we were able to create using Canva, again, and some, uh, some other tools at our disposal. So uh, the possibilities literally are um, limitless. Um, again, you mentioned we use it for the thumbnails. We use it for um, the graphics we've you know created um, to brand and differentiate our YouTube page. Um, the literally the podcast episode covers that you see, you know, whether it's the NBA or um, our traditional episodes, all of those covers are actually created um, in uh, Canva, leveraging Canva. We have prefabricated templates. And then the cool thing about it, too, is and you talk about continuity. Once you've aligned on your your brand color and logos and all that stuff, well, it also has the ability to create a brand kit. So now we're using the same type of color that's the same type of red the same type of brown the same type of blue right the same type of gold um we're using the same type of font we're using the same type of logo like all of that those things are critically criti criti critically important especially mm -hmm. if you're sh sharing it with other folks and so now we have the ability to if we wanted to outsource some of this work literally share our brand kit and say these these are the words. Uh, this is the font for these words. This is the font size. These are the colors that we use. These are the requirements. So if you're making anything that's associated with uncompromising entrepreneur, and it's as simple as turning it in over and having full confidence that it's going to be executed on. So um, Canva has definitely been just a tremendous tool or resource and definitely something that if you're looking to differentiate your content and create, again, visually compelling content, then you're the type of content that's going to get people to stop scrolling. And what, is that, what the hell is that? This is a, a good place to start. Yeah, so all of our social media content really is created in Canva. So if you're talking about Instagram, our Instagram posts, if we're creating carousels, um, I've, I've learned by watching other YouTube videos on how to create carousels within Canva itself. Uh, all of our uh, Instagram and TikTok reels, and now we have access to reels on Facebook as well. Uh, all of those are created within Canva, uh, and uploading, you know, the the 60 second clip, or even if it's a 30, uh, not a 30, but a three minute clip, because I'm creating something for IGTV. All of those pieces of social media content we create within Canva itself. Um, there is a really good tool which. You know, we need to start using a little bit more, but you also have the opportunity to not just design it now, but then post it and schedule the social media content through Canva itself. 
Um, one of the aspects that you just mentioned too, Devon, that I've always appreciated is the fact that you can create a team account and be able to add, again, very minimal cost. I, I think it's about twelve twelve ninety five that I was able to add uh, Rico, one of our teammates, Mary, Stacy, my wife, and you, and, and have all of us in this account and having access to all of this same information. Um, the last thing I'll say that was surprising to me, but which was very cool, getting back to what you said about the colors, is you know you came up with the design for our, our our logo for uncompromising coaches now we sent that off to a graphic designer to get everything touched up and to get all the right files that we needed uh, and desired but once i uploaded that logo into canva canva on its own was able to then take the specific colors within that logo and help to create our brand kit uh, for us. So like we didn't even have to get the specific uh, numbers and, and uh, colors, you know, from the graphic designer because Canva did that for us. So to your point, now we're able to take those different, there's about four different colors within that logo that I'm always able to use uh, in various ways to create our social media content again. So there is always continuity between our brand and everything that we're putting out there uh, within print, within social media, uh, within our program and the content that's within mm -hmm. our program that we're creating. Uh, so even having said that, like we've used it to create PowerPoint slides that we then put into uh, another tool. It's not one of the ones that we're talking about today, but Wondershare to create videos that are part of our coaching program as well. So, so many different aspects and different things that you can use Canva for. Um, it is, again, a phenomenal tool, very, very cheap. Uh, in my opinion, uh, to be yeah. able to do so much with like it, it is really a steal for what they offer. Yeah. And we probably won't repeat that again, just in case Canva's listening. They try to decide to up the prices like Netflix. Yeah, that, <laughs> it, it might need to become a sponsor for us or something like that. That's Facts, yeah, absolutely. That, that too. Yeah. Cut the check Canva. Yeah, cut the check, um, <clears throat> yeah the, the thing that I'm the most impressed about, um, I'm impressed by, you know, last kind of little call out about Canva too is, you know, how you're able to leverage it, not just for, um, you know, print or social media posts and stuff like that, but you can, to your point, use it for overlays for videos. And so now you're able to combine mixed media mm -hmm. into a uniformed experience. So when you guys are looking and you're checking out our, um, you know, when you guys are looking and you're checking out like our reels or our shorts or quick bites, whatever the case may be, and you see, you know, kind of the, the headers and the call to actions and the branding and all this, all this other stuff and, you know, surrounded by the video. Well, that's a combination of the Canva work and then, you know, Jimmy and his graphic, uh, his video editing work um, through Wondershare and marrying those two to really, you know, give an elevated experience. So you can do a lot of really, really cool things. Um, just, you know, especially if you, you're you thinking about, you know, as a content creator, maybe you're a streamer, maybe you got your own you know platform, you're doing Twitch, you're doing all these other different things. You can marry those two and now, um, you know, create a, a really compelling, differentiated experience with, uh, you know, some dope call to actions. Yeah, absolutely. So number one for us was Canva. Again, we are providing you three, in our opinion, three of the best tools for solopreneurs. Uh, the second one that we're going to discuss, again, I have to give my beautiful wife credit uh, uh, for, her to two, uh, for putting me on to Trello. Uh, Trello is another tool that provides a, a host of different opportunities for you. It really helps to, to lessen the confusion that sometimes really tends to surround, especially when you're working with the team. So yeah, we're talking about solopreneur success. Uh, you may uh, hire a virtual assistant, somebody that's going to be helping you in some of these aspects. You can invite them to be a part of essentially these boards that you are creating in Trello. So you can use it for project management. You can create uh, to-do list and your task list within Trello. Uh, some of the ways that we tend to use it the most is really for our podcast production. Uh, so even before we started recording today's episode, we were in Trello. Uh, there's different columns uh, and again, boards that we have set up. So for every episode, I'm not going to get into too much detail, but I do want to break down how we use it. For every episode, you know, we have a board that has the content that we're going to discuss. We have another board that we use to pre-plan 
really the whole season. Now, we do make adjustments along the way, but we try to do our best for us. We find that it's helpful to say, okay, in the month of October, September, these are going to be the topics that we're going to discuss. Uh, and then to be able to start to curate inf information that we're going to be utilizing, that is going to be the, the foundation of our conversations and the podcast that we are recording. Um, we also have a, a separate board within Trello set up that helps us with uh, our guests and that whole process of securing guests. Uh, you know, Stacey, again, was was instrumental in creating that for us. It allows us to to find different people that are of interest to us. We can put it in the Trello board. We know who we've contacted, uh, who has said yes, who has said no. We can do some scheduling through there. So from a, a project management standpoint, from an organizational standpoint, uh, Again, there's just lots of different phenomenal uses when it comes to Trello, um, and it just allows you to quickly and efficiently also upload files. Um, again, if there is a specific article that maybe we're reading uh, or something that we've come up with, we can then attach that to this board. So Devon and I have access to go in there to be able to review this information and then again, use that for whatever purposes uh, that, uh, that we find, you know fit for it. Um, but again, so many different uh, uses that I have found it is super helpful. Again, for me, mainly from that, that project management standpoint. Yeah. I mean, you know, when I think about literally, you know, what it takes for us to be able to not just put on the show, but also run the business, um, you know, having the ability to organize, to manage, to mind map, to house content, um, really show notes, production notes, um, you know, it's so critically important. And, you know, Trello has been a tremendous tool in order to help keep ourselves organized and us on the same page. And, you know, um, you know, from time to time, you know, Stacey's helping out with, you know, certain components. Again, all of the act activities and things like that are housed in that mm -hmm. central space, that, that centralized space um, that we can all work from. Um, and, yeah, I mean, you know, you, you kind of mentioned like not trying to get too much behind the scenes. Uh, I, I appreciate that because we're definitely not trying to bore you guys or geek sure. you out, you know, or, or geeking out about like what it takes to put on the podcast. I, I assure you, uh, even though it seems like we just chopping it up, it's not just us turning on the camera and then just running our mouth and trying to figure it out. Like there's um, it's a production like we, we literally, you know, um, there's a production. And, um, you know, while we're going through and doing our research and putting stuff together and how's it in there and, you know, having discussions around the content and the bullet points we want to highlight and things that we've learned and what's going to be the most value valuable for the group, um, for our listeners. <clears throat> As we get alignment on that, that's where all of the stuff lives in in Trello. And so we can go back and kind of understand what are we working towards in terms of the overall theme or the arc of the season um, each, um, you know, uh, each uh, month and, you know, tying it into our upcoming NBA guests. Um, but then also we have kind of this historical view of, you know, what have we already touched on that it makes it easy to be able to tie back to a uh, reference um, and, and tie into. So um, it's definitely a great tool. So if you, you know, when I think about how you can apply something like that, you know, as you know, a solopreneur, you know, maybe from a content creation perspective, you need to lay out, well, what does my you know, like what content am I going to be providing or producing? Um, you know, um, you know, Gabriella before we got into podcasting and things like that, you know, Gabriella had her own YouTube page. She still has her own YouTube page. She's been doing mommy vlogging. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mommy Gabs, you know, doing, I'm um, doing vlogging. Um, and you know, at early on it was just, all right, you know, she's, I'm pregnant. I want to connect with people. I want to communicate. This is something that I've, I've had a dream to do before. Like, let me do it. Um, and so she was just cutting on her, you know, cutting on her phone and having the conversations. But then over time, like she started to realize, OK, I need to have a little bit more proactive or thoughtful or refined approach. And then so she started planning out what her content was going to look like um, and how she was housing it for her manually. Like um, I wouldn't say manually, but she was housing it like on paper, like just a notepad of I'm going to cover this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. This is kind of my content delivery schedule for my channel. Um, well, now we've been able to do that exact same concept, but through Trello and add in additional notes and clippings and things that we want to tie in and touch on. So um, it really is uh, an extremely useful tool. Again, mind mapping, storyboarding, um, you know, and 
because you can take it a step further. And now you can even do dynamic things like if you're working in a group, tag in people, right? So mm-hmm. if there's certain actions that need to occur, you can at that individual and now it shows up as a task that they need to do. You can trigger email reminders. Mm-hmm. It's just all of those different components. And so for us, the the uses is much more than just the podcast because now we can use that for other elements of our business as we continue to build it out. So um, I strongly, strongly recommend um, for our our solopreneurs, our entrepreneurs, if you need something that's going to help you get organized, um, if you need something that's going to help you manage kind of the task and things that you're looking to accomplish um, and you have other individuals that need to have visibility into what the roadmap is and what they own in that journey, um, then Trello can absolutely be a useful tool. Um, it's kind of funny, like you said, you know, Stacy, um, Stacy definitely, she was already on to Canva. Um, she put us on the Trello, um, having the recommendation there for sure. So, um, in some respects, you know, um, Stacy's kind of been, you know, executive producing, um, our, our podcast, <laughs> our podcast for a minute now. She's uh, EP in it. So, yes, absolutely. Um, the, the last thing I'll, I'll say about that too, is you may be listening to us and be like, okay, well, maybe I've checked out Trello. And it does provide you templates, but you may be thinking, man, it it just seems like it's too much to be able to organize everything in a way that's going to work for me. If you do some research, I'm sure if you Google it, you probably go on Pinterest, uh, maybe on some place like Etsy. There are people out there that have made their own products and their product is they've actually created a Trello board that you can purchase. Um, actually, I think it was like seven bucks. We actually purchased one that helps us specifically with that process of securing guests and helping us to get on other uh, podcasters uh, shows. So you don't always have to create the whole thing from scratch yourself. Again, there are a number of templates out there that you can find for free or that people are selling at minimal cost that will make it a little bit easier for you. Mm-hmm. That's the other thing I really think is dope about this, right? It's it's kind of a, one of those situations where um, you have a problem, you find the solution, and then the solution actually ends up becoming the service. Um, because, you know, for, you know, us um, and for other individuals, like you kind of talked about, you know, we've had plenty of people that have approached us about, you know, uh, leveraging our services to help create content for them mm-hmm. because of what we've been able to do with these these tools. And um, obviously going back to why purpose is so important, that doesn't align with our purpose. It's not what we're looking to do with our business. And so um, we direct them to how they can do some of these things themselves, but we're not looking to, um, you know, um, invest any type of energy in monetizing that when that's not ultimately aligned with our purpose. But you could definitely do that yourself as a solopreneur as mm-hmm. as you're going through this process if you start to realize oh man i have a knack for creating this type of content in canva there is somebody who doesn't want to spend time figuring out how to do it in canva and they're willing to pay you for your services to either make it in canva or give them the templates or set them up and you set them up so that they can hit the ground running in a seamless the same with trello you figure out you know how to make trello work for you and now you can create these different boards and these workflows and now you can monetize them and again you're just adding that in to your suite of offerings as a solopreneur um you know you heard us mention a little you know um a little while ago on one of our cold brew convos when we were talking about somebody um, a business owner that we know that was using their ability to create websites and content as a means to um, secure startup capital for their home services business that they're doing. And so they said, all right, let me you know, fund my entrepreneur endeavor by doing some of the solopreneur stuff so I can funnel it into this. And now um, I'm building my, you know, I'm building my, uh, home services business and securing these tools based off of the work that I'm doing with creating websites. You can do the exact same things. If you master it, if you find out what works for you, if you have a knack and you have a solution, now you can monetize that solution and you can start selling Trello templates. You start selling Canva templates. You can start doing all of those things. So, um, I think that's another thing that's just like really, really cool, uh, about these tools. Cause it's not just a means to solve your problem, but it can also be a, a means for you to monetize if you really figure out how to unlock the uh, the potential of these tools. One last example I'll give because you, you just reminded me of this. So in learning how to make a carousel to make content to post onto Instagram, what did I do? I went to YouTube and I searched for something and I found a whole channel with a lady, I think it's her husband as well as a team, uh, but she's the main one in the videos. So they have mastered 
how to use Canva for all of these different things, how to make a website using Canva, how to make uh, carousels for Instagram posts in Canva, and they're monetizing this expertise that they've learned and grown by creating this YouTube channel and providing tutorials and content on how to use Canva itself. So of course cool. Canva appreciates that, I'm sure, because they're getting more users of their tool. And now this this these individuals and this couple are able to monetize what they do by creating this YouTube channel that's getting thousands and thousands of views from people who want to learn those type of things. So that's what I love about the creativity from entrepreneurs, solopreneurs. And like you said, I have this tool and I might have originally gotten to it because it was helping solve a problem. But oh, you know, as I solved this problem for myself. Other people are having those same problems. Now let me actually make content and make some services based on that. So, yep. um, so cool, so cool, so cool. Um, again, that's what I love about entrepreneurship and creativity and solopreneurs as well. Um, you mentioned Gabby and the fact that you know she said hey let me just start using my phone and, and and making videos and i know from a production standpoint that grew i know you guys have some camera equipment and stuff like that um but i, I liked you mentioning that because that's going to help us segue into the third tool that we're going to talk about which you might be like duh but there might be a, a, a several ways that you are missing out on using a device Yes, I am team Android. This is not an iPhone. Uh, but using your cell phone, your mobile device, to be able to run your business and, and have it actually be a very essential tool for you as a solopreneur and as a business owner, especially in this day and age in 2021. Um, so some things, you know, we just talked about it. So especially, you know, with the the new version right of the the iphone that just came out and the type of camera work they even have their commercials showing people using the iphone to like create movies so mm -hmm. that's number one obviously with the type of of quality camera that you're getting and even some of the editing capabilities on the phone you can use it to obviously make videos you can use it to go live on all of your social media platforms uh, so that's kind of one easy thing right that's that's kind of a no-brainer i know that i had that capability but when it comes to to running the business you know, we have uh, Microsoft Office, so mm -hmm. we use all of the tools that come along with Microsoft Office, but you can also download smart versions of these Office apps onto your phone. So whether that is uh, Word, Excel on your phone, there's different, uh, again, desktop version, uh, desktop apps that you can get the versions for that onto your phone. Um, we just talked about Trello. We just talked about Canva. You can download apps for those two tools, we also use MailChimp. So there's yep. different tools that you are probably using already today that you can download the app. So now I can actually create content on my phone in Canva and then have that sent off and post it to my social media platforms, again, all through Canva, but utilizing it on my phone. Same thing from, uh, for Trello. Uh, I can do the same thing for MailChimp. So when I talk about MailChimp, uh, we're talking about um, email marketing uh, and uh, a, a marketing email marketing provider. Um, so I don't necessarily always use it to create the emails and send out the, the, the email blast. But what I use it for is to check. You know, I want to see how right. many people actually open, who's responding. So I typically use the app for that. Um, so those are just you know a couple of things that you can do. Virtual assistants, obviously you can take notes uh, within your phone. Um, what's really cool about like voice technology today um, is you can you know speak into the phone obviously you have like Amazon Echo Siri Google Assistant you can use these different devices within the phone to have it you know ring a call for you send an email maybe perform some quick tasks that you can have the phone do by speaking into it uh, so putting the social media stuff and kind of marketing things aside to actually run your business and to do it more effectively and help things a little bit smoother, especially if you're on the go and literally mobile and not just in your house. There's so many ways that you can use that phone to continue to run your business when you are on the go. Yeah, absolutely. Right. You're talking about like, um, you know, 
you know, payment applications, things that allow you to do invoicing, things that allow yeah. you to do accounting. Um, you're talking about goal setting. You're talking about, um, you know, measurement tools, um, you know, obviously leveraging things like, um, you know, your video accessibility, your, your photo accessibility to be able to create compelling proposals. Mm -hmm. um, again, all of those different things. And so um, what's funny is that like kind of, you know, early on when we got started and even playing around a little bit in this kind content creation space, um, you know, I had people, you know, reaching out and asking, you know, questions, you know, now that we're mature, like, what did you use in the beginning? Um, well, guys, like this device right here, like this device was the original production studio um, in some instances, uh, because you can even do things like, you know, record podcast content and create podcast content. Mm -hmm right from your phone. You don't need to have the microphone and the elaborate setup and all that stuff just yet. If you just want to do audio only, you can complete an audio only high quality podcast straight from your phone, um, especially if you're using applications like a Podbean, for example, um, like Anchor and things like that, that make the barrier to, barrier to entry again really, really uh, easy, really, really low. Um, so yeah, it's just truly, you know, you have untapped uh, you know, potential that you can tap into, obviously, um, you know, leveraging your smartphone, your smart devices. And if you can think of it, I guarantee you there's damn near an app for it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we've talked about, you know, leveraging different applications that we use, not just for um, photo editing or video editing, but you can actually there's applications out there that aggregate search results to give you the most common used words associated with the topic that you're looking for. So how why would that be beneficial? Well, if I'm trying to uh, identify what my hashtag should be, if I'm trying to identify how I should la la label and tag my content when I'm producing it, I'm, I can take advantage of this. So if I wanted to know, okay, what are the most common phrases that are typically queried when somebody's thinking about business or entrepreneurship, it's going to give me the other, um, the other phrases and I'm going to identify the top 30. And say, okay, that's what I'm using for my hashtag campaigns now. Um, you know, um, again, because, you know, that's an important component when you're talking about like the algorithms and all the other stuff. We don't, again, not trying to geek you to death, um, but just trying to give you, you know, some, some justification use why cases. these things are so, yeah, some use cases, some justification why these things are so important. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you got to almost think beyond, you know, your phone is just a means to, do social media like that's really just a small slice of really the potential that's available to you productivity apps time man you know again time management goal setting content creation um you know um payment processing accounting like you have the power of a full virtual assistant and office right here at your fingertips literally you can set up a google number so that when you're on the go you want to have a separate number that's not tied to your personal if you're talking about like advertising your business but you want to be able to get access to your know, messages text phone calls all that stuff well, you can do that and it's going to push directly to your phone we were just talking about how we you know we're using that um ourselves um you know uh, this morning right mm -hmm. so the the potential is limitless so i really actually i almost want to recommend that for our listeners out there as you start to go through your process again because you we're assuming you've done the work that we've been telling you to do around identifying your purpose, niching down those things. And you start getting into the fundamentals of your business and what you're going to need. Like start with going to your app store and just start go like start searching like hell for the things that you need and seeing what applications are out there and how you can leverage those and integrate them into your phone. Because if it's at your fingertips, you're going to be more than likely to use it. Um, and that's really what it comes down to the, all the things that we've been talking about is being able to not just have these tools, but leverage these tools and execute so that you can ultimately implement and monetize. Absolutely. Having those different apps to, to do everything that Devon just uh, explained is going to be critical. I think what would also be really cool is if you can have the uncompromising coaches in your pocket. <laughs> 
And just so our audience, our uncompromising family out there recognizes, that is exactly what we are working on now. Uh, so you can definitely, in the Google Play Store, by the time this comes out, it should be uh, within the, the Apple iTunes Store as well. Um, you can get the Purpose to Profits app. Um, that is going to be the really the, the launching pad for... Uh, everything that we're doing, uh, we are in the process of creating a community, especially for our uncompromising entrepreneurs out there uh, and the folks that follow and are part of this podcast community. Um, we want to help you to do those things, to have the knowledge, to have the tools and going beyond what you're getting from this podcast. All of that is going to be available to you in this app uh, and you know these, these different tiers that we're going to have, again, for our uncompromising family out there. Uh, so you'll be able to get uh, the videos of the podcast. You'll be able to get behind the scenes, kind of those green room conversations uh, that we put out a little bit after season uh, one. You'll be able to to have access to those things. We have ebooks that we are writing that go along with this whole season. Uh, so we have an uncompromising entrepreneurial drive ebook uh, with videos that you'll be able to have access to. Our solopreneur success series, there's an ebook that goes along with that and videos to accompany that that you will be able to have access to depending on the tier uh, that you select and how you want to support uh, what we're doing and this podcast. Uh, and then as we've been talking about, we have our gentlemen that have been going through our alpha test. Uh, this program, the program itself from purpose to profits is housed, the content is housed in this app. Uh, so not only have we been taking these gentlemen through the program, but also through the app, uh, and of course getting feedback and testing it out and making sure that it is providing the type of experience that we want our uncompromising family out there to receive. Uh, so we're super excited about that. Um, still some pieces that we're building out, uh, but again, it is available. It is out there. Uh, we're not fully launching it just yet, uh, but the time is coming very, very, very soon. So uh, be on the lookout for that uh, again, because uh, a lot of our content, our focus for success course, uh, you'll also be able to have access to that and other courses that we're going to be coming out with in the future. Uh, so you have that on the app. You could also uh, view this content and our web version of it uh, as well. But the main thing is, again, having the uncompromising coaches in your pocket via this app, whether it's on your phone or your tablet, your mobile device. So we are super excited about that. And again, just another tool that you're going to be able to use to help you accelerate your growth and find that success that you are looking for as a solopreneur and as an uncompromising entrepreneur. Yeah, well said, man. I'm I'm super geeked. I really yeah. am. Um, we've gotten a lot of really positive feedback from our alpha test participants. Mm -hmm. So not only have they been going through our uh, Purpose to Profits program, but they've been going through the app experience and providing feedback so that we can refine the experience and make sure that um, the the UI um, mm -hmm. is just, you know, um, smooth, right? Smooth and, and um, you know, um, value added. Uh, and so I'm, I'm excited about the, the community that we're in the process of building out there. Um, and I definitely think it's going to be a great um, place for, uh, you know, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs out there that are looking for not just a, a, a community, but also a library of content at their fingertips that would make it very easy to reference um, and to walk through activities that are going to allow you to enrich your, your skill set enrich your business because you're going to be able to again easily pursue your purpose create profits build a legacy um with uh some of the things that we're going to have to offer so um super super excited man for the for the launch uh, when that time comes uh so definitely make sure that you are prepared make sure that you're looking out for it. Um, more information to come as we get closer and closer to the official launch date um and i can't wait to you know get feedback from you all yes sir so as a solopreneur, it is important to have the right tools available and ready to go really from the beginning. Uh, you want to make sure that you are setting yourself up for success, that you are efficient, you are productive in the things that you need to do to serve your customers and your clients. And again, find the success that you're looking for and in doing so help them find the success that they're looking for with the tools that we've just described to you. Right. So we broke down Canva, Trello and then your phone, but all of the access that you have and all the capabilities that you have with yourself 
phone. Uh, use those, take heed to them, and you will be on your way to running your business. And again, really seeing the success that you desire as a solopreneur. Um, so make sure that you stay tuned. We are, as I mentioned at the beginning, coming to uh, the descent when it comes to this series of solopreneur success. Uh, the last episode that we're going to have for you in this series of solopreneur success before our next MBA uh, is going to be the top three reasons to become a solopreneur today. We've talked a little bit about that at the beginning of the series, but we felt like we want to kind of book in and end with that and just remind y'all why now is the time to become a solopreneur and again, give you top three reasons why you should do so. So be on the lookout for that. That is going to be the next episode. Uh, and then following right behind that will be our uh, latest installment of the NBA series. And if you haven't heard the one that we just dropped recently with Alan C. Paul, please make sure you go back and do that. Uh, and also be on the lookout in a couple of weeks because uh, we were blessed to be on his podcast and record with him. Uh, so once that episode on the God and Gigs podcast is released, we will make sure that our uncompromising family has a chance to, to know about it, hear about it, uh, and also view it as well because there will be video content to go along with that. Uh, again, to, to all of our uncompromising entrepreneurs, thank you so much for listening. Thank you for watching. Please show us some love, comment, like, share. We certainly appreciate that. If you want to reach out to us, again, you can do that by going to uncompromisingcoaches.com. Uh, if you'd like to set up a consultation with us at no charge, you can do that. Uh, you can also send us an email at info at uncompromisingcoaches.com if you have a question maybe it's a question that you'd like us to talk about on the next podcast episode uh, please do so we'd love to again to get your questions and be able to talk about it and give you a shout out along the way uh, definitely find us on all social media platforms if you have not done so, join us on Facebook in the Uncompromising Entrepreneurs Group. That's entrepreneurs, plural, uh, where we have a group of men in there, entrepreneurs, business runners, uh, individuals that have are very like-minded, have some similar passions uh, as we continue to go in there, go live, uh, have engagements and conversations within that platform. Uh, and again, of course, you can find us on LinkedIn, uh, Instagram, TikTok, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, but go to uncompromisingcoaches.com. You'll be able to get funneled to all of those different areas by simply going to our website. Uh, and then again, be on the lookout for the app, the Purpose to Profits app, which we'll be able to have on Android and Apple devices uh, and uh, be able to learn more and have some inside behind the scenes of your boys as we continue to produce what is the hotness also known as the Uncompromising, the Uncompromising Entrepreneur, Entrepreneur Podcast. Entrepreneur Podcast. <laughs> for sure. Um, so again, thank you so much, family, for sticking with us and being, we hope that these, again, these three tools that we just broke down for you, um, gave you maybe a, a different way to view them and some different ideas on how you can utilize these tools. Uh, if you've heard of them before, but maybe haven't used them to the fullest extent. So take advantage, have fun, enjoy. And as always, God bless y'all. And please stay encouraged. You have just listened to the Uncompromising Entrepreneur Podcast, hosted by Jimmy Gonzalez and Yvonne Watts. Thank you, and we hope that you pursue your passion, create profits, and build a legacy. Until next time, y'all.